Hey, it's Susie here, and I'm with the fabulous Mr. Brian Cadd. Hello, Brian. I'm so fabulously excited to be here with you. Are you? And, yes, very yeah. much so, yes. <laughs> so we're celebrating Daryl tonight. You well, amongst ball? other things, yes. We are. No, 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 we are. We're celebrating Daryl, and uh, although I suppose you would say, you know, on the face of it, it's not a very, you know, happy moment, it actually is, because he had such a great life. And so many people loved him and did so many great things. At the end of the day, I think you have to sum it up like that, don't you? You do indeed. And that's what we're here. So, what are you liking about tonight? Apart from you guys' outfit, you should see, you should see the cameraman, <laughs> who's actually a chick. Fabulous! Sorry. Fabulous. Where are we? Uh, what I like most about tonight is the fact that all the people on the show are all the people that shared his journey. Yeah. We all started together when we were 20 years old, knew nothing knew nobody and within a few years we were all rocking and rolling and it's just gone on and on and on and he has always been a part of what we've all been a part of. We were just all in the same team. Got a little yarn that you can tell us about him? Oh well. <laughs> Something that we can actually put on TV. I have to tidy this up a bit. Mate. Tidy away. Um, at one point during Zoot's career, um, Don Moody and I were asked to write a song for their next album. And we uh, dutifully did so, and then we turned up at the Zoot House. I mean, that was back in the, the days. Zoot when, House. Yes, when bands all lived together in yeah. the same house. And we rocked up, and, and there was this, I think it was Caulfield or something, this, this great house. And in the middle of it, in the living room, there they were all sitting, and we were about to meet them and everything. And everywhere you looked, there were chicks. This is years before he ever married, married anyone, I could tell you. And there's fabulous chicks everywhere. And, you know, we're trying to do our thing and show them the song and there's just ladies everywhere. And afterwards, Moody and I are driving away and he said to me, how come Axiom never get anything like that? Because <laughs> I didn't have Daryl Cotton. Is that a cut? Oh, <laughs> not only that, not only that, they didn't have B. Bertles, they didn't have Rick Brewer, they didn't have, you know, we had uh, me and Shorik. It's a different thing at all. We were more, let's say, we appealed to a different group. Different group? Yeah, National Geographic. <laughs> so tell me one word that you could describe Daryl. He was very young. Young? I mean, he just, he just kept being young. He was he so annoying. Mean? When he was 18, he was young. When he was 20, he was young. When he was 30, he was young. At 40, he was young. 50, he stayed young. Which is, I guess, part of the shock of the whole thing. Is yeah. The rest of us all look like this, you know. And he took care of himself. He was terrific. Which I guess is a message in there that I should keep on doing all the bad things that I do. And loving it. And <laughs> loving it! <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for your time tonight. And have a good time. It's, I'm gonna. Yeah. I already am. Actually. Yeah. Thank you. They're pretty groovy shoes you got on. Can you get those shoes, Miss Chrissy? Can you zoom down? Can't Not get them. from there. Will, Although I'd like to see it try. I love those shoes. Hey, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you.